to be able to have this opportunity to meet these people and make these connections and find people who care so much about you and your baby. We feel very blessed. A new approach to treating spina bifida before a baby is born is happening right here in Chicago. The surgery has been performed on three babies so far, and the results are hopeful. In tonight's special report, Elizabeth Matthews introduces us to Millie. With a son already at home, Alyssa and Simon Anderson were excited. They were now expecting a little girl. She was born on February 21st, two months after a life-altering surgery. I almost faced it with denial for several days, just there's nothing wrong. They had a normal pregnancy until their 20-week ultrasound when their lives would be flipped upside down, and they learned Millie had been diagnosed in utero with open spina bifida. You grieve, right, for the baby or the life that you thought you were going to have. According to the CDC, less than 1,500 babies are born with spina bifida in the U.S. every year. It occurs very early in pregnancy when the brain and spinal cord are developing, but the bones, typically in the lower back, don't close properly. Which can have an impact on the legs and on the bowel bladder function. It can also have an impact on the developing brain. After the shock wore off for the Andersons, they found a safety net on a social media page and the lifeline they were looking for at the Chicago Institute for Fetal Health, where doctors suggested a less invasive and more innovative approach to surgery to treat spina bifida, called fetoscopic surgery. Three little ports into the mother's uterus so that we can put in a camera with some working instruments and uh, delicately close her back in utero. The alternative? Surgeons would have to cut through the mother's uterus, decreasing the chances of a vaginal birth. It has to be performed before the baby is 26 weeks. The Andersons decided to be the third family to undergo this type of surgery in Chicago. It was for us just an automatic if we qualified and if we had that option we were going to do it. December 21st they went to the hospital as the Institute's 100th fetal surgery. It opened just four years ago and as part of Lurie Children's Hospital. Dr. Robin Bowman who's the co-director of fetal neurosurgery and Dr. Amin Shaban who runs the program operated on Millie. It can give her a chance to have better movement in her legs and surprisingly for a number of children it also has a positive impact on the brain developments. And it has for Millie who was born about six weeks early. She weighed four pounds ten ounces, tiny but very mighty. Her Chiari malformation, a condition in which brain tissue extends into the spinal canal present at birth, is gone reversed at 30 weeks in utero. And she's gained some weight, clocking in now as a four month old at 13 pounds. It's still unclear what baby Millie's future will look like. There may be some bumps in the road, but she has two road warriors in her corner. Make that a team of road warriors. We just want other families to know, you know, who have diagnoses or things that they think are really scary that your babies will be beautiful and resilient and wonderful. Elizabeth Matthews, Fox 32 News.